hello guys uh welcome back to your favorite agricultural channel greenhouse is one of the 21st century technology that we use to face the problem of climate change because producing food in the outside in the open field is becoming more challenging so this is the kind of situation where by you have control over everything and you'll be able to produce your own food all year round without a uh, break in the circle but you must have watched so many uh, cultural videos online telling you so many things about greenhouse telling you the heaven and the heart about it so yeah it's a beautiful technology it's improved yield you manage well uh you have control over everything and you will not be affected with so many other things that is happening in the open uh field cultivation but it comes with its own uh it is own side that if you don't cater for it well you might not be achieving the best result so it's not it's not an autopilot something that if you have a greenhouse you can just go to bed and sleep these are the five lies you must have heard and i want i just want to us to know and take note of it if you are going into greenhouse farming uh you must have heard so many people uh painting greenhouse for you like uh is that affordable yeah the initial investment is not something you can just say okay i have a one million naira somewhere that i can just do you want a, a, a big a big greenhouse like this with all the facility a millionaire cannot do it so you must have heard so many people talking about it as if is this is a cheap technology it's a very very good technology fantastic with that will give you results but it's not cheap it might be affordable but it's not cheap for you to talk about becoming a successful greenhouse farmer you must have a bowl if if you don't have a bowl have a bankable well a pumping machine and overhead tank then you must lay your pipe apart from building the structure so we are talking about four five six million naira to put all this kind of thing together another thing is that so many people you must have watched uh some channels that if you set up your farm you don't need to do anything again you need to do so many things just like on the open feed you need to do your pest control though it might be minimal it might be reduced to what you'll be doing if you are doing if you are cultivating on the open field you still have to do your uh your pest control you have to do your fertilizer application very very important you have to do your irrigation so it doesn't exempt you from the normal agronomic practices you have to do your irrigation as at when due it's not like okay i've gotten a greenhouse uh from now on i will not be doing with it from now on i will not be doing fertilizer application the greenhouse will not do that for you you still have to do it is a must if you still want to achieve the results you are targeting you have to do it so that's just it another lie people will tell you about uh greenhouse farming is that uh if you want to do greenhouse uh you are doing uh what do they call it you are doing uh soilless farming yeah soilless farming and greenhouse people confuse them together uh the 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 fact that you are farming you are using the greenhouse doesn't mean compulsorily you must do soilless farming soilless farming is a situation whereby you are not using soil to farm you can be using maybe rice brown or you are you are using hydroponic that would be another topic entirely but so many people used to confuse it like okay you are using greenhouse that means you are not using farm as you can see on this farm now we are using soil everything we planted is on the soil so it is not it's not soilless farming greenhouse is not soilless farming greenhouse is just cultivating under an enclosure under uh, a controlled environment though you can practice soilless farming inside the greenhouse there are situations whereby we we'll use grow bag and inside that grow bag what we we'll put there to grow the crop are not soil we we'll fill it with maybe cocoa peat you can use cocoa peat we can use a uh, rice brown uh, or you can use hydroponic 
so if you are using cocoa pit for example you lay your pipe and what the water that will be dispensed in there you, you will have mixed your fertilizer and that's what we call soilless farming because you are not using the base soil to do your cultivation so you should differentiate between greenhouse farming and soilless they are very very different though you can practice soilless inside the greenhouse so and another thing last but not the least is like uh in the greenhouse uh you don't you don't need to treat disease you don't need to uh, fight pests at all now in as much as greenhouse will bring about reduced pest infestation and reduced disease because when you have less pest uh you also tends to have a kind of a like a reduced disease because pests apart from the fact that they will attack your 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 crop they also bring in some kind of disease and looking at this kind of structure now it's like a net flies cannot just come in and out as the way they want but that doesn't mean that you we don't we don't have pests in the greenhouse we have fight uh white flies we have so many other insects that you have you still have to combat and fight them and the fact that you are using soil will not exempt you from disease because an handful an handful of soil like this contain up to a million up to a million microorganisms bacteria so which you still have to spray your nematicide your your bacteria treatment your viral uh, spray or and everything other thing like that so these are the five lies that has been pushed about greenhouse farming so in case you must have watched anybody telling you greenhouse is this greenhouse is that and they've not told you the other side of greenhouse so don't just go into greenhouse farming and having it in mind that okay i have greenhouse and the greenhouse will take away all my farming problem greenhouse will not take away all your farming problem it will help you to achieve uh all round year production a situation whereby you can produce crop all year round and the situation whereby your production will be increased and the situation whereby you have a, a kind of protective against external weather condition so that your production will come out clean optimum and uh, you have a better yield with this i've come to the end of today's uh, topic and i hope uh, you've gotten value one way or the other thank you for your time and see you on the next one Shishi.